so hello friends i am here with my next video next class and as i told you like last class we finished the classification of explosives and uh, there are uh, like we classified like low explosives and high explosives and high explosives are get divided into primary and secondary explosives so high as high explosives is very important and uh, we have to learn uh, like as individual explosives like rdx hmx and uh, petn or tnt uh, so today's class i will be explain about rdx and it's a high explosives it is an high explosive and a secondary explosive so let's begin with our rdx and what is rdx so let us check that rdx is full form of rdx is research development department explosive research r for research d for department x for explosive or we can say that royal royal demolition explosive so this is the full form of rdx and rdx is an abbreviation of research department explosive or royal demolition explosive so next how formally it is called cyclo 135 trimethylene 246 trinitramine so in symbol we can say that it is cyclo trimethylene trinitramine so rdc so is called research department explosive or royal demolition explosive and formally it is called cyclo 135 trimethylene 246 trinitramine or simply we can say rdx is cyclo trimethylene trinitramine and it is also called as cyclonite and germans used to call it as exogen and italians used to call it as t4 so this rdx is we can see in many names like cyclonite exogen t4 and this term rdx is coined by british so rdx what is rdx rdx is a research full form of rdx is research department explosives or royal demolition explosive and formally it is called cyclo trimethylene trinitramine and it is called also as hexogen or cyclonite and it is a most powerful military explosive it is the most powerful military explosive and the term is coined by british and like as we all know rdx is an organic compound and its chemical formula or molecular formula is c3 h6 and 6 o6 so its chemical formula of rdx chemical formula of rdx is c3 h6 and 6 o6 and it consists of alternating ch2 and no2 groups so let's check this so in this picture we can see that this is the structure of rdx and it has no2 groups and no2 groups and ch2 groups arranged alternatively in the ring so what is the characteristics of characteristic of rdx rdx is a white solid without any order or any taste it is tasteless and odorless rdx is a white solid and it is odorless and it is tasteless and it is very stable rdx it is highly stable high explosives and it is susceptible to shock and it is the most as we said earlier it is the most energetic and brisant of the military explosive what is meant by brisant brisant is the capability of to shatter so it is the most energetic and brisant of military explosive and rdx is used as a component of many formulation with tnt and petn 
and say we can say that if rdx is mixed with wax it is called as composition a3 when rdx tnt and wax is mixed together it is called composition b and if rdx and tnt is mixed equal proportion it is called as cyclotol and if rdx tnt and terrile is mixed together we will get a compound called ptx1 and if rdx tnt and petn is mixed together it forms a chemical compound called ptx2 and if rdx and petn is mixed in equal proportion we will get a compound called semtex so rdx is used with petn and tnt and other uh, like mixtures of oil waxes plasticizers etc form etc to form different compositions and if uh, for example 80 percentage of uh, rdx is mixed with oils waxes and plasticizers it is called c1 or c4 composition like rdx and wax is mixed together it will give a composition a3 and rdx plus tnt plus v wax gives composition b likewise we can make chemical substances so most of the secondary high explosives are mixtures containing one or more of high explosive chemicals next we can check out how rdx is synthesized and how rdx is manufactured so in short we can say that if rdx is treated like if hexamine is treated with white fuming nitric acid we will get rdx so hexamine hexamine when treated with nitric acid it will give rdx so this is the chemical formula so this hexamine C6, H12 and 4 is treated with HNO3. We will get C3, H6 and 6, O6 that is RDX. And as a byproduct we will get methylene dinitride, ammonium nitride and water as byproducts. So this is in short the manufacture or the synthesis of RDX. So RDX is obtained by treating hexamine with white fuming nitric acid and as a byproduct we will get methylene dinitride ammonium nitrate and water and there are various preparation techniques for rdx and like they are called sh process k process w process e process k method so this sh process k process likewise they got the name from the person who is patenting it. So as such process which was invented by Snoor, K process is patented by Knopfler, W process is patented by Wolfram and E process is patented by Bellet and KA process is also known as Batchman process and it is invented by Knopfler and Apple. So we can see this in detail. So at such process, add hexamethylene tetramine to excess concentrated nitric acid at 25 degrees Celsius and warm it to 55 degrees Celsius. And this is precipitated with cold water. And the mixture that the precipitate is then boiled to remove any impurities is there we have to remove it so boil it and finally the purification process is carried out and we'll get rdx 
so this is about SH process add hexamethylene tetramine to excess concentrated nitric acid at 25 degrees Celsius and warm it to 55 degrees Celsius and precipitate this with cold water and then the mixture is boiled to remove the impurities and finally the RDS is purified from that mixture and cap process RDX is formed by reacting ammonium nitrate with a mixture of hexamethylene tetramine and nitric acid same process so nitric acid is the main thing and W process you just have to read this and understood what is happening mainly it is the same thing reaction with nitric acid so next is W process based on condensation of potassium amidosulfonate with formaldehyde and the nitration of the condensation product so here also nitration is the process main process so potassium amidosulfonate and formaldehyde are reacted together to produ produce potassium methylene amidosulfonate this product is nitrated to RDX by a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acids. Next is E process. Para formaldehyde and ammonium nitrate undergo dehydration by acetic anhydride solution, resulting in the formation of RDX. Para formaldehyde and ammonium nitrate undergo dehydration by acetic anhydride solution, resulting in the formation of RDX. Next is KA process based on the reaction between hexamethylene tetramine dinitrate and ammonium nitrate with a small amount of nitric acid in an acetic anhydride solution. So we will get after byproduct yes we will get RDX. So these are the synthesis process preparation, preparation of RDX SH process here. Uh, nitric acid and uh, reaction between nitric acid and hexamethylene tetramine and in K process also ammonium nitrate is reacted with the mixture of hexamethylene tetramine and nitric acid W process potassium amidosulfide with formaldehyde and the nitration of the condensation product E process para formaldehyde and ammonium nitrate undergo dehydration by acetic anhydride solution and resultant pro product is RDX and KA based on the reaction between hexamethylene tetramine uh, dinitrate and ammonium nitrate uh, and uh, with a small amount of nitric acid in an acetic anhydride solution we will get RDX so these are the manufacturing process of RDX so then how to identify RDX if it is encountered from a crime scene so these are the technique so RDX is easily identified by spore test so what is spore test 6 amino 1 naphthol sulfuric acid gives yellow color with RDX if it is RDX if we are adding 6 amino 1 naphthanol and sulfuric acid it will give a yellow color and if you are adding ethanol to that substance it will the yellow color will change to blue color and then this blue color will change to gray color so this is spore test if we encountered a substance and if we want to know whether it is rdx or not we have to do spore test and the spore test how we are doing see to the sample we are adding six amino one naphthanol and sulfuric acid it, it will give yellow color and again to the product we are adding ethanol with the color change to blue and then it changed to gray next is TLC thin layer chromatography here acetone is used as uh, the mobile face and uh, silica gel is used as stationary face and the rest of the procedure is same for all thin layer 
chromatography next is ir spectroscopy so here also acetone solution or potassium bromide will give characteristic trace and other methods are x-ray diffraction and gas chromatography mass spectroscopy and gas chromatography and hplc so these are the other techniques so rdx is identified by spot test tlc ir spectroscopy x-ray diffraction gc hplc gcms and here i will show you one thing this is the ftir spectra of rdx and the first one in blue color is the pure rdx this is spectra that is a spectra of pure rdx and um, next one b is rdx and gap nano composite materials mixture of that one and uh, last one c in yellow color is pure gap so like this we will get the spectra if we are doing a ftr or ir spectroscopy the spectra we will get and from that uh, uh, from the database we can identify or we can match this with the uh, other components and find out whether it is rdx or not or either any um, impurities are there any uh, any other mixture of explosives is used likewise we can identify so this is FTI spectra so this is how we are identifying RDX and this is all about RDX so RDX is an organic compound and uh, the full form of RDX is research department explosives or real royal demolition explosive and uh, it is formally called cyclotrimethylene trinitramine it is also called dicyclonide or hexogen or T4 and uh, it is a highly stable military explosive and it is very susceptible to shock and uh, they can be mixed with uh, PET and or TNT or any other oil waxes or plasticizers and what is plasticizer plasticizer plasticizers are binders so these plasticizer uh, plasticizers are added to this explosive to enhance the mechanical properties of the explosive and uh, they are colorless and they will make the material to softer and they are colorless and odorless esters so these substances when added with plasticizer uh, rdx like this plasticizer or tnt or pet and or oils or waxes if added with rdx they will give other uh, chemical compounds and uh, from this table you can find it out and these are the synthesis process of rdx as such process k process w process e process k a method and all or okay, KA method is also called Batchman process but in general we can say that how we are getting RDX or how we are manufacturing RDS it is obtained by treating examine with white fuming nitric acid so this is the overall reaction of that so, so this is all about RDX and if you have any doubts if you have any queries if you have any suggestions you can comment out and thank you